expected the second convention to be held in Boston would discuss succession from the United States and they echoed the old Democratic Republican cry of states rights against Madison. Uh, they, they even based their threat to succeed from the Federal Union on Madison's Virginia Resolution of, of uh, 1798. And when the messengers, when they got to, uh, to Washington uh, to, to deliver the Hartford Convention's ultimatum, they found uh, the citizens of Washington, the residents there, celebrating Jackson's great victory at New Orleans. But more, uh, but more surprisingly and more importantly, they found them celebrating the Treaty of Gent, uh, the signing of the Treaty of Gent. Um, the, the war was over, but if ramifications would be felt in the United States for the next 50 years. Madison, uh, after the war, began to successfully recruit um, he began the, to successfully recruit moderate Federalists and later on we will see that the, Madison and the presidential successors adopt a number of Hamiltonian programs and schemes to placate the moderate Federalists <coughs> um, who joined the Democratic Republican Party. Uh, his actions, these actions are so successful that John Quincy Adams, the son of staunch Federalist and second president John Adams join the Democratic Republican Party and rise as high, uh, high enough to be uh, a presidential nominee for that party. The Democratic Republicans on the Madison and Monroe, they, they, uh, we will later see that they will adopt the same protective tariffs, they will recharter the National Bank, and they will continue the expansion of federal, uh, federal power. Uh, the remaining Federalists, for their part, continue to oppose the Democratic Republicans, but they fade into obscurity, and really the, uh, the last a uh, Federalist of note would be Chief Justice John Marshall, who dies in 1835. And with his death, you can really see you can really see that the uh, the Federalist Party ceased to exist as a national entity. Now their principles and their ideologies will continue on in future uh, politicians and in future political parties, but but really from this point on, the Federalists are uh, they're on the way to extinction. Um, the, uh, the news of Baltimore, Plattsburgh, and New Orleans co uh, collectively uh, ensued the, uh, the, the, greats, the, uh, the, the, the disgrace and, the, uh, and uh, pretty much uh, portend the eventual collapse of the Federalist Party. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys for listening to the lecture. Uh, as always, hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about my lecture on the War of 1812. Uh, this lecture ran a little long, and I know that this camcorder is going to break it into two lectures. But uh, hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about this lecture. And as always, I'm Ted, and I'll see you guys later for another lecture.